Hello everybody, I hope everyone is doing well and welcome back. So today's video was inspired by Alia. Not too long ago she uploaded a video of her going through all of her number one makeup products at that moment in time and I really wanted to do that. Over my two week break I spent a lot of that time at my parents cabin and these are the products I brought with me. I did have a few others but these are the ones that I would use pretty much every day when I was using makeup. And I also took some footage of me actually applying the product so you can see them in action. Let me know if you'd like to see this video every couple of months. I think this one could be super fun to see how my taste change or see which products I switch in and out through the seasons. So let me know on that. Before I get into the products, this video is kindly sponsored by Glasses USA. I wasn't wearing my contacts that whole time so I could not see anything. Hopefully I wasn't cross-eyed. But a huge thank you to Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video. It means so much to me. They're great because they cut out the middleman and you're able to get prescription sunglasses as well as eyeglasses at up to 70% off and I really like them because you can get prescription eyeglasses without leaving the comfort of your home which is a homebody's dream. They have a huge frame selection. They have over 6,000 styles. They have their in-house brands which I will be showing you a couple pairs of and they also have designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci and a bunch more. You can add any type of prescription to almost all styles and you can also add a blue light blocking filter on them if you'd like. I have a blue light filter on all of mine since I do a lot of editing work on my laptop as well as my phone. A complete pair of glasses including the frames and lenses starts at only $30 and a free basic prescription are included on every frame. So now I'm just going to quickly become a model and show you the few pairs that I have here. I'll have the names on screen just in case if you want to check out the specific styles that I got. So these are the first ones here. I really like them because they're just a simple tortoise one and I really like how they're bigger frames. These ones almost make me feel like Zoe Deschanel in New Girl, so I love it so, so much. The next pair I got was a little bit of a bold choice, but I'm so happy I went with them. I really like them. They have like this watercolor tortoise vibe. It has a gray, purple, blue, light pink in them, and I think they're just really unique. They give me the vibe of a super cool art teacher. I really adore them. And I also got another pair of these ones. I have two other colors in this specific style. These are my number ones. Just because they're super comfortable, I don't feel them on my face at all. They're very lightweight. They don't slip around at all, and I can barely see the frame when I'm wearing them. And the last pair I got is actually a pair of sunglasses, and here they are on. I really like having a pair of prescription sunglasses for days that I'm driving and I don't feel like wearing contacts that day. I think they're really, really handy. These live in my car. But I'm going to be wearing this style for the remainder of the video just because I was cutting jalapenos earlier and I physically cannot put in my contacts right now without burning my eyes out. So thank you Glasses USA for coming in clutch today. <laughs> so now let's get into the products. So I'm first going to start off with my base products and I haven't been really reaching for any primers as of late but there is this one thing I like to apply over my skincare before I apply my foundation and of course that is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I just adore this stuff so much. It's been part of my everyday routine for I would say the last eight months or ever since this came into my life. What is time recently? I don't know. But this stuff is beautiful. I love using it in a variety of ways actually. I used to like to just apply it underneath my foundation as a glow booster, but now I have been really enjoying sandwiching my foundation with this just to add a more dramatic glow. This stuff is perfect because it has a beautiful consistency. It runs very thin so it's very lightweight and it blends out super seamlessly with anything. I've never had an issue at all with this product. It just adds a very beautiful glass skin glow to your makeup and it's just everything I ever dreamed of. I talk about this product way too much so I'm going to move on to the next thing. For my foundation, I've been using the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation with SPF 40. While I was doing my declutter, this is one of the products that kind of got lost in my collection and I also forgot my thoughts on it. So I decided to put this in my makeup bag and bring it to the lake. And I have been loving my experience with this over the past two-ish weeks. I've been struggling with a lot of my go-to foundations as of late just because my skin has been going through so many different changes due to the weather, due to my acne healing up. Some days I'm really dry and some days I'm really oily and I have found that a lot of my go-to foundations have been sitting on my face weird. They all kind of curdle up and they just sit on top of my skin in a really unflattering way and they don't look like skin at all which has been really discouraging but this is the only product that has been looking really skin-like and smooth 
on my face. I love how natural this one looks. It definitely is a light coverage foundation, but it does build up quite beautifully. I like to add another layer to the areas where I have acne scars, and it does a really great job at, at color correcting those, and it wears beautifully throughout the day. It doesn't separate on my skin. It never looks heavy. It's just been a dream. I find this to be very similar to the M Cosmetics Cushion Foundation but this is just like a bottled version, so that's amazing. The only thing I have with this is I don't know if it's completely worth the price. This is a very expensive base product, and I just feel hesitant to really recommend this product just because I find that it's a little overpriced. I have had nothing but great experiences with it. I just, there's just something there that I feel like is not completely worth the price. I don't know what it is. Moving on to my under eye products. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that my parents adopted a new puppy. So there's been some late nights as well as some really early mornings out at the cabin. So this product has been coming in really handy. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I use the shade light to medium. This product is a game changer. I've been using it for a while, but over the past two weeks, I've made a huge dent in this just because I have been lacking a little sleep. I thought I was going to catch up on a lot of sleep over my little break but that just was not the case but this product was great for correcting my dark circles as well as brightening it up under there I love to apply this with a sponge because I find if I use a finger or a brush I just apply too much and it ends up creasing my concealer or it's just too heavy under there for my preferences but with a sponge you're able to get a really nice thin layer that is very effective. It brightens beautifully, corrects wonderfully, and, and I love its texture as well. It adds like a nice dewy under eye look, and it also has a nice tacky texture that I think helps adhere your concealer nicely. I just find when I wear this, my concealer lasts a lot better with this underneath it. So this has been a game changer. I love this stuff so much. Following up with my concealer now, I've been using the Pat McGrath concealer. I love this stuff because it has a ton of coverage, but it doesn't feel like a super high coverage concealer. It has a really nice lightweight texture to it. I just apply it a tiny bit and a little bit goes a super long way, which is nice because this is a pricier concealer. And that also helps to keep my under eyes feeling lightweight. I just apply two dots. I like to apply two dots, one on the outer corner and one on the inner corner. And I blend it up with a sponge just to add a little bit more hydration and it's beautiful. It covers any darkness under there and it makes me look ultimately more awake than I am. So this has been the concealer I've been loving over the course of the last little bit. The powder I brought with me and the powder that I've been really liking is the Pat McGrath Loose Powder. I don't like this under the eye as much as the specific under eye powder from Pat McGrath, but I've been loving this one just because of its versatility. Of course, I didn't want to bring two powders, but this is a nice versatile powder because you can use it under the eyes or all over the face. I really like its finish because it's not too mattifying at all. It just still makes your skin look luminous. It sets the makeup beautifully, but it just still adds a little bit of a glow, which I love. And it doesn't feel heavy at all. It doesn't give any of those tightening feelings. This is definitely my favorite loose powder of all time. Next for brow products, my brow routine has not changed. My brow routine still remains the same. The only thing that I added is a brow pencil just because I haven't been keeping up with my brow tinting routine very well, but this pencil resolves that issue. This is the M Cosmetics Fine Liner Brow Pencil. I use the shade Ebony. I really like this brow pencil because it's not heavily pigmented so you're able to really build up the depth of your eyebrows without making them look really artificial. I love using this just to fill in the sparser areas of my brows and I also really love its shape. It's a nice oval shape. A lot of brow pencils either have that triangle or they're a perfect little circle. I really like this shape because you can create little fine hair-like strokes in the front of your brow or depending on how you hold it you can fill in your brow quickly or you can make it more precise so it just is great I feel like a lot of people would really like this one especially if you like more natural looking brows this is a fantastic product and the other product is also from M Cosmetics this is the product I've been using for over a year now this is the M Cosmetics brow cream this is my number one favorite brow product of all time I'll sometimes use other things but nothing comes close to the love I have for this product I just love how it makes my brows look very fluffy and thick. I have the complete opposite of that. I have very thin and fine hair on my brows, so this just gives me the look that I want. And I also love its little tiny brush because you're able to grab onto every single hair on your brows and place them where you want them and coat them evenly. A lot of brow gels come with these really thick spoolies, which I never understood because it's really hard to get precise application with such a small area of your face. It's just, it never made sense to me, but this brush is absolute perfection. 
This stuff sets your brows beautifully and makes them look very fluffy and it tints them. It just does everything I need. And it's also super freaking quick to apply. This is the best brow product on the market. Now moving on to add some dimension to my face, I have been really loving the Melt Cosmetics stack. In the cooler months, I really like to gravitate towards cooler toned bronzers or I even pull out my contour products. I feel like it just looks a lot better because in the winter time, a lot of bronzers look too much on me. Even if it's a lighter tone, there's just something there that doesn't work. But I've been loving mixing the contour color in here with a touch of this bronzer to create a really nice finish and color that matches the season. Uh, I really like this stuff because it's very effective. It's very easy to blend out and build up. You can get a really natural look or a very high chiseled look with this product and the tones are absolutely perfect. And the other two colors in here I don't really use on my face right now, but I have been using them as crease shades when I do eye looks. For me, this is a very versatile product and I have been adoring it over the last little while. For my blush and highlight, this is the one that I've been Pretty much using exclusively. It's the Kosas Tropic Equinox Color and Light Cream Blush and Highlighter. This little duo here is the product I turn to when I have no idea what blush to pair with my eye look. This is just my perfect light toned nude shade for my personal skin tone. I love the warmth that it has but I also find that it looks great with cool toned looks or warm toned looks or whatever look pretty much just because it looks really good against my natural skin color. And the highlight is beautiful as well because it can be quite intense but it still looks very natural. It has a beautiful glass-like balmy look to it that's not extremely sticky, but I've been loving this for a while now. This is a product that has made a lot of appearances on my channel. So now getting into my eye products. The first one I wanna talk about is eye primer because I think that's very important to mention. And of course, I've been loving the Fenty Beauty one. It just has a really waxy finish. And if you have super oily eyelids, this is the perfect eye primer for you. Before using this one, my eyeshadow would never last throughout the day. At the end of the day, my eyeshadow would be completely creased, completely ruined. But with this, my eyeshadow lasts 12 plus hours. It's fantastic. I use this in all of my videos, but I thought it was important to throw that in there because I use it every single day. Now moving on to my go-to eyeshadow palette. This is the one that I've been using the most. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize palette. I like this one because it has some subtle funky colors in here as well as these really pretty neutrals. The ones that I've been using the most is this trio over here called Happy Glow and I think it's a perfect pairing with the blush and the lipstick that I'm going to be talking about soon. I've been really loving this monochromatic soft look recently. I find that these are really high quality eyeshadows. This formula in here is the same as the Desert Haze quad that I adore and love so much. The shadows are a lot creamier and more pigmented and they blend out flawlessly. I really liked her more revamped version of her eyeshadows. They're, they perform incredibly. And the shimmers in here are so intense. They're incredibly creamy and so fun to work with. Like, look at that. My favorite mascara recently has been the M Cosmetics Pick Me Up. I've been loving wearing this on my top and my bottom lashes. A majority of the time on my channel I use this as my bottom lash mascara just because I want to go in with something a little bit more voluminous and dramatic for my top ones. But over the break I was just using this one solely alone. I like how you can get a really natural look. You can apply it in a way to make it look like you just have a lash tint or you can build it up to add some more volume and length to your lashes if you want more of a dramatic look. I I love this stuff because it never crumbles or smudges. It just lasts a very long time and it's super fun to take off at the end of the day because you just add a little water and they just come off in these perfect little fun tubes. It's very satisfying. And now moving on to the last few products. Here is my favorite lip combo. So the lip liner I have been using every day has been the M Cosmetics Soft Blur Velvet Lip Liner in the shade Fawn. This specific shade is very similar to my natural lip color and I love that more natural look and it's fun to define my lips and make the edges of my lips a little bit more defined or if I want to overline a little bit. This is my perfect lip liner to go to if I just want it to look very natural. I've talked about these way too much. I use them in way too many of my videos. Maybe I should hide them for myself for a little bit because I know you guys are probably tired of them. <laughs> Moving on to my favorite lipstick at the moment. This is the Nabla Metropolitan. I love this one because depending on what you pair with it, it can pull more yellow or more pink. And this one paired with the Fawn lip pencil, it pulls out the more pinky tones in it, which I like. This is a really nice lipstick if you have more of a golden undertone, it's very flattering. And by the way, this is a little bruise from when I was unboxing my new nightstands. <laughs> 
But anyways, this is my ultimate favorite lipstick from Nabla. Its texture is really nice. It almost feels like a balm on the lips, but it's far more pigmented than a tinted lip balm. Love it. And the last product I'm going to be mentioning is my favorite lip gloss, and I have been loving the Buxom Pumpkin Spice Latte. I love this lip gloss so much. It adds a really nice lacquered finish to your lips. I really like how minty and cooling it feels on the lips as well. And this lip gloss color pairs perfectly with the blush and eyeshadow look that I have been doing every day. And there we are. Those are all the products that I have been loving over my break. They're my number one go-to's right now. And please let me know if you'd like to see this video in a couple of months from now. I think it'd be super fun. Before I go, I would just like to say another huge thank you to Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video. I will have all the pairs that I tried on for you in the description down below. So please check out the description for any additional information you need to know. But with that said, that is all for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it fun and helpful. If you did, please give this video a like. It would help me out so very much. I'll make sure to link all of these products in the description down below as always, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye!